East Bay friends are that I'm down here in Stanford country wearing a red shirt. Um, but anyway, aside from that, um, yeah, it's Rick's Brewery. If you don't, if you don't really know about us, uh, I was talking to a couple people earlier. Um, most of you guys know about us, but been around for 22 years. Uh, started as a, as Lind Brewing um, way back in '89, and Lind Brewing was one of the first production breweries in the Bay Area. Uh, you know, they had they had uh, Roger Lind who used to work for our company at Triple Rock Brewing in Berkeley, which was one of the first three microbreweries in the country. Um, you know, we, uh, we or I say we, John Martin, uh, his brother, started Triple Rock Brewery in 85. Um, Roger was one of the first brewers there, and he decided after a short period of time he wanted to go off and do his own thing. So he went down to San Leandro and started up uh, what was called Lynn Brewing, ran it until about 94, and he was a teacher by trade. He had his credential and decided to um, go back to teaching and put the brewing thing aside. So at that point in time, uh, you know, he didn't come to us and say, hey, you guys want to buy a brewery. We were on the sidelines and uh, someone else came in. So it was a family uh, with the last name of Rogers that uh, runs San Francisco Coffee Company. And to them, these guys, you know, making coffee every day at the roastery next door, they said, hey, that sounds kind of cool. Let's, let's have a brewery on the side. Mm -hmm. And we'll make coffee during the day and we'll, we'll make beer as well. So it was more like a hobby to them. They have this brewery. They didn't uh, necessarily put all the money into it that needs, needs to go into a brewery to keep the equipment and you know build the business up. They just used it. It was more of a novelty and they're, they're good people, don't get me wrong, but um, they didn't they didn't go at it full full force and, and want to grow the business up and, and improve everything about the place. So um, what happened was in two thousand one we came we came into contact with the Rogers family. I had run a brewery in San Francisco called Twenty Tank Brewery for about ten years. We lost our lease in the dot com boom. So we had to pull out. So we moved our equipment out and everything into storage. And we saw this great opportunity to, to partner with Drake's and increase their capacity, help them brew more beer, help us brew beers for some of the other businesses that we operate. And it was just kind of a win-win situation. So in 2001, we created this partnership with Drake's and that went on until the end of 2008 when the Rogers family decided to, to pull up stake of their coffee company and move it up towards Sacramento, up to Lincoln. And we were in the right place at the right time. You know, we, we, you know, we've always had the passion for it, and they offered it to us, and, and, and we took it. So, uh, again, it's, you know, from there, it's, 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 been a, it's been a short period of time, and it seems, it seems like uh, a lot has happened in that short period of time. Um, we've invested a lot of money into the, into the brewery. We're upgrading the equipment, constantly adding more tanks, doing things to help, you know, increase the, the quality of beer, but also get to the point where, you know, we're, we're expanding you know, our distribution networks, and we're still a, we're still a very small business. I think we have 10 or 11 employees. So we're, you know, by no means a you know, larger brewery, um, but you know what we're really focused on is the Bay Area. And we we pulled we pulled things back in once we bought the company and said we need to focus on our home market and, and grow, saturate our home market before we reach out and get to these other areas. So we are a Bay Area based company, and our focus is the Bay Area. So we do send a small amount of business down to Southern California, which is, if you don't know, they've got it's blowing up down there as far as beer goes. San Diego and LA are just going crazy with beer. So anyway, um, again, Bay Area Company, we're really excited at, at, at the response we're getting from people. The quality of our beer has, has, has you know, it's, it's always been good, but it's, it's getting better and better and better. We've expanded the brew. We just recently opened a, uh, a tap room, not a tap room, a barrel house. It's, it's like a winery tasting. So if you've never been by the brewery, come on by. It's open Wednesdays through Sunday. Check out the website. It's drinkdrinks.com. Um, look on the barrel house thing. But it's, it's really cool. We have 25 beers on tap there at all times. Um, it's very cool. You get four barrel aged beers. Come on in. Uh, don't want to talk about too much about our retail business because that's what these guys do too. So um, tonight we're going to taste some fabulous beers. You know, it'd be nice, nice to taste a lot more of the beers that we offer. We, um, one of the things about Drake's, if you don't know a lot about us, is we always have 12 to 15 beers going at all times uh, on draft. So we produce more draft styles than most breweries uh, in the Bay Area and in California, um, and consistently. So tonight we're going we're gonna to taste a couple of those. You know, we go from the, the, our flagship beer, which is the Drake's IPA. Um, and there's a lot of IPAs out there. People are people are loving IPAs these days. They like, like the hops. They like a stronger beer. 
Um, our, our IPA is, I wouldn't say, you know, it's, you know, we have a good IPA, a lot of other great IPAs out there. Berry Public is, is, is a great IPA. Every time I go into a, a place to try and sell beer, they're like, well, we have Berry Public, you know. Fine. But uh, our, our idea is a little bit different than Fair Republic. It's more hot forward. Um, excuse me, Fair Republic is very, very hot forward. Ours is more of a balance of malt and hops at 7%. Not identical beers, it's totally different IPAs. Both are fabulous. We've got our um, our Expedition Ale, which is our seasonal right now. It's, uh, it's a red ale, uh, which is a, it's a nice balance of malt and hops. Uh, I think you'll like that tonight. And we've got our uh, an organizer, which is our imperial IPA. That's kind of our, our, our crazy beer, if you want to call it that. Uh, it's, it's very strong, but again, at 9.75%, it, it's, it's a great balance of malt and hops if you can do that at 9.75%. And then we've got uh, uh, what, it, what used to be just called our Drake's Imperial Stout. We decided to, uh, when we did our rebranding, and that was to give it an actual name and give it, give it some more character. So we, we, we branded it with a draconic name. It's a draconic imperial stout. It's 8.75. It's just a big imperial stout. So it's big, multi, um, you know, not overly hoppy, but it's, again, it's got some kick to it. And I think uh, Chef Mark has done a fabulous job of pairing the beers that we're going to have tonight with the with the food offerings. So um, again, I'm very excited to be here. Um, we're going to go through the courses tonight. You know, there'll, there'll be a chance where I'll walk around and stuff. If you guys have any questions. Um, just ask me again. I'm, a, I'm a, one of the operating principals of the company. I'm the sales and operations manager for the company. So I'm the guy that uh, puts in the windshield time as well as whatever other <laughs> time is required. Um, so it's a, it's a fun business to be in. You know, everybody's talking about the recession. You know, being in the beer business right now, it's, it's, it's in good times and in bad times. You know, people people still drink beer and, and think I would forget about the recession. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, forget about the recession and sell, you know, people just want to celebrate. So it's a good time for craft beer and I appreciate you guys coming tonight. Enjoy the dinner. Again, when I come around uh, later on, just if you have questions, just ask me that. And uh, again, thanks a lot. Thank you.